Hello everyone, welcome back today to my channel. Today we are making some awesome, easy, and simple DIY organizers. These organizers are made from recycled materials, which is the best part about them. They're super easy and simple to make and very quick to make too. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. First off, we are making this lovely diamond organizer. For this organizer, you will need some cardboard, masking tape, utility, knife, cutting mat, and ruler. If you don't have those, you can also use scissors. First off, you are gonna, you are gonna need to make yourself a template. Here are all the dimensions of the template that I made myself. You can made, you can make yourself one like just like this from the dimensions that you can see. So what I did was I cut the the template out and then. What you want to do is you want to trace it onto your cardboard. You want to trace the diamond one time and the rectangle four times. Next, you want to cut it out of the cardboard using your utility knife, ruler, and cutting mat. If you don't have a utility knife, you can always use scissors. It's, the utility knife just makes it a little bit easier to cut through the cardboard. Now, I really suggest using thinner cardboard. My cardboard was very thick and it made it really difficult to cut through it. Especially if you're using scissors, you want to use thinner cardboard than the cardboard I'm using. It's, it was very, very thick. So once you've got all of your pieces cut out, what you want to do is you want to assemble them using your masking tape. So my masking tape was um, I think um, it was two inches wide. It was two inches wide. So I cut it up into one inch strips, which we're going to be using. So what I did was I placed my diamond and then I placed my rectangular piece and I taped them together using the masking tape. And then put some tape on the other side as well. Make sure you're taping both sides and you're also bending your cardboard as you go because you really don't want stiff edges. And then you want to cut out the excess. <clears throat> now you want to do that to all four of your edges. Once I've got that done, I'm ready to tape the corners. So I got a piece of masking tape and I taped the corners and then I, I folded over the excess tape and then I also put some tape in the inside. Now it really doesn't matter what color your masking tape is. My masking tape was green, but after the whole thing got painted over, you couldn't see it. So over here now you can stop at this point and you can just use it as it is. But I want to make it look a little bit more pretty, so I painted the whole thing white. I put one layer of warm white and then I painted over it with regular white paint. I painted the insides as well as the outside. You might need a couple of coats of paint in order to get an opaque coverage. So once I had that done, I put some washi tape. I put a line of washi tape all across the, uh, on the edges of the box. And then I thought of painting the edges using a marker, a gold marker, but it was, the gold marker looks more bronze, bronzy, so I decided I would just cover the top up with glitter, silver glitter washi tape, and I like the look of it much better. Thank you. 
If you don't want to use washi tape, you can use decorative paper or wrapping paper as well. And that's pretty much it. You've got a lovely diamond organizer. Now you can fill it up with some amazing things. Moving on, we are making this bottle cap diamond organizer. You might be able to tell I'm a little obsessed with diamonds. Okay, so for this, you're gonna need ball caps, scissors, hakuo gun, and hakuo sticks. If you don't have a hakuo gun, you can always use super glue or some sort of other strong glue. Now for this particular organizer, you're gonna need large bottle caps, preferably milk bottle caps. So tiny bottle caps from bo water bottles are not gonna work for this project. You want large bottle caps. So I'm using milk bottle caps. And my bottle caps have this little tab on them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a pair of scissors and to cut them off. If you like if, if you like the look of those tabs, you can always keep them on. And I've, after I cut that off, I glued all the bottle caps together. Now I decided to use my gold marker again and I colored the edges gold. And that's it. You've got this lovely diamond organizer, which was made by none other than your bottle caps. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have a serious cord problem. I've got a big tub of cords and I can never find the cord I'm looking for. So to make this cord organizer, you're gonna need cardboard, circular object, pen or pencil, scissors, ball caps, hot glue gun, and hot glue sticks, as well as decorative paper and glue, st glue stick if you want to, if you want it to look pretty. Now I traced Mm, a circle using my circular object onto my cardboard. I cut that out and then I traced it again on my cardboard. So you, in total you want two circular pieces. Now I, my circular object was a little bit larger than my ball cap, which is what you want. And for this particular DIY, Smaller bottle caps are better than milk bottle caps, but I didn't have any, so I just used a milk bottle cap. Use whatever you have around. Now, right before I glue this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the circles onto some decorative paper, and I'm going to cut that out. And then I will glue that onto my cardboard using a glue stick. Now's a good time to use scraps of from old projects. Now I only covered one side of my cardboard. You can cover up both sides, but the other side isn't really that visible and really no one's gonna be looking at my cords all day. So it really doesn't affect me that much, but I know it might to some people. So you can totally dress it up as much as what you like it to be. I'm going to take my bottle cap and I'm going to glue that to one piece of cardboard and then I'm going to glue the whole thing to the other piece of cardboard. Just like you can see me do over here. Liquid glue, glue does not work for this so you want like a sturdy glue. I like hot glue because it dries really fast. And now this next part is completely optional, but I decided to cut a slit on the top so the cord, the end of the cord has something to hang on to. 
now that's pretty much it. All there's left to do now is to wrap your cords around it and you have got a lovely organizer. This cord organizer is amazing. I love it so, so much. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I post a new video every single week and you don't want to be missing that. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.